guys welcome back to my channel it's gorillas and heels so good to see you all again in my last video one of my viewers suggested that i share a video on my favorite scents and fragrances so i'm really happy to do that today just a disclaimer that i'm a really boring person so once i find something that i like i tend to stick to it for a very long time I'll be sharing the perfumes in order of when I first tried them and the scent of the perfume usually correlates to a time or phase in my life. So the very first perfume is Anna Sui's Secret Wish. This is the first perfume I've ever used in my life. Um, I used it when I was 16 years old and I came across it in a departmental store one day and I just loved the way it smelled. So the top notes are melon, lemon, pineapple and apricot. So it smells very fresh and the base uses white cedar wood which is uh, more muted in its scent and I really love how it's really feminine, it's a little bit flirtatious and I really love that there are different layers to its smell. This is a perfume that I go back to in different periods of my life, even now. I also love how the bottle looks. There's a fairy on top and it makes for a nice decoration as well. The second scent that I have loved is Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Now this perfume is so popular and I know many of you probably know this scent. So I first got to know about this perfume when I was visiting New York and I was at Grand Central Station when I received a sample. So I was going there for a conference when I first started work and I remember putting it on for the first week I was there and I received so many compliments. I was at breakfast and I remember this girl was like I'm so sorry to ask but what's that perfume you're wearing it smells amazing and I've used it for three years so there are three signature scents to this perfume the first one is purple passion fruit which originates from Brazil the second one is vanilla orchid which comes from Madagascar and the third one is Shangri-La peony which comes from the ASEAN region so this perfume is very floral fruity and feminine um, it's also quite strong so what I like about it is if you know by now I really like the fruity floral Floral scent but what I do not like about it is that it can be quite overpowering and it can come across as a little bit one-dimensional so it's just very fruity and floral and that's it it's something that I have loved when I was much younger but these days I find myself being drawn to more complex fragrances the third scent I'm recommending is Jo Malone's English Pen Freesia. This scent is so popular, I've used probably four bottles of it. And this one I really love. So the top note is English Pear, which is quite unusual. It's fruity but not too strong, so it's quite mellow. And there's also Freesia, which is very delicate and fragrant. What I also love about this is that it contains patchouli as a base note. So any perfume that has patchouli smells amazing. It is deep and woody and it also enhances the longevity of the fragrance. So for this scent, I bought it in different forms. I used the perfume, I used the candles, and I also used the diffuser at home. So I've gone through so many variations and bottles of this scent. Um, I still love it, but the downside of this scent is that it's very, very, very popular. A lot of people wear this so it's not as distinct or unique in that sense and because so many people use the English pear and freesia scent the other one that I love is Jo Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey I love this so much it's really sweet though but I really like that it smells very feminine crisp and fresh so the notes are cases which is a type of black currant and lastly it has peach which makes it smell very luscious and velvety so this is a scent that I've been reaching for and this is my third bottle. Really good, highly recommend it if you are into feminine and floral scents. So the next scent is from Hermes and it's Hermes Eau Jardin Soletois. It literally means a garden on the roof. So this scent was created in 2011. It smells of apple, magnolia and pear and it smells really sophisticated. If I compare it to the English pear and freesia scent, this one is a little bit more mature and a little bit more intense. Um, how Hermes describes it on its website is, This fragrance describes a secret garden hidden in the heart of the city in Paris, a hanging garden perched on the rooftop of Hermes building at 24 Faubourg Saint-Honoré. I used this in my late 20s and early 30s. This is very similar to all the perfumes that I've mentioned earlier. It's floral, fruity, feminine. Um, and yeah, this one is just smells a little bit more sophisticated. 
My next set is Tom Ford's Fluidy Portofino. Now this is really pricey and I cannot justify buying another bottle at this current price point. But the perfume is very strong, it stays on your body. Um, this one, the different notes are lemon orange, mandarin orange, um, jasmine, lavender, rosemary and myrtle. So it, it smells a little bit more masculine compared to all the perfumes that I've mentioned earlier. So I find that this perfume is more of a night perfume. It's very strong. I use it when I'm going out with my girlfriends at night or for dinner with my husband. If I were to use a picture to describe the scent, you feel like you're on holiday on the beach in Italy and it just feels very carefree um, and bold. I would say it feels a little bit bold. So yeah, you can try this. So the next perfume is this brand called Fragonard from France. I just discovered this brand last year when my friend introduced it to me when I was visiting Paris and I love it so much. So I visited the museum where I saw the perfume making process. So this one is called Etoile and it has notes of bergamot, lily, apple, ginger and it smells really fresh and floral. What I love about this is also that it's not expensive so the price point is very affordable and this is probably a brand that I would recommend if you were to visit France. So yeah. The last perfume which I have not tried but my best friend recommended to me and I'm trying to get my hands on which I haven't been able to do so because it's out of stock everywhere. It's from Diaz and Duggar and it's this perfume called Tibesa. So this perfume was launched in 2015 and I love that it smells really complex. So my best friend wore it the other day and I was like, what is that smell? I, I, I gotta have this perfume. So it's very green and woody and there's also a scent of coconut in it. So that's it to my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. As you can tell, all the scents are very similar. It has jasmine, bergamot, apples, pear. If you have used any of them, leave a comment down below on what you think of them. And if you have other scents that you think I should try, also please leave a comment down below. Once again, thank you for watching my videos. If you have any suggestion of content that you would like to see, please feel free to send me a message or comment down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care and have a good week ahead.